this case consider the issue of extraordinary transactions and whether or not a transaction entered into that resulted in a lump sum payment of interest on a loan that was assigned was assessable as income or was capital in nature. In this case, a company required to borrow some funds to expand its business, but was restricted from doing so under its obligations to its existing debenture holders. It therefore entered into an arrangement whereby it lent some money to one of its subsidiaries, and then soon after sold its right to the interest on this loan to a finance company. The finance company paid this amount of interest as a lump sum, and the commissioner assessed the company on this payment. The company objected to this and argued that it was not assessable as ordinary income and was a capital gain on the basis that it was an extraordinary transaction and was outside the ordinary course of its business. The central issue for the court was whether or not the amount received by the finance company was assessable as ordinary income or was capital in nature. The court ultimately held that the amount received 